This is David with Advanced Compliance. Let's take a look at a couple changes that the California Energy Commission has made from the 2016 to the 2019 Building Energy Efficiency Standards, or our uh, Title 24, Part 6, our Energy Code. To make it fun and interesting, we're going to stop off here at Section 100.1. We'll scroll to it real quick. This is our definition section. So when we're able to find a definition for a term in this section, it really helps out with the code interpretation. So let's take a look here for the term um, readily accessible. I just passed it up. Here we go. Readily accessible. And it is right there. Readily accessible is capable of being reached quickly for operation, repair, or inspection without requiring climbing or removing obstacles or resorting to ac access equipment. So this is the definition the California Energy Commission has given whenever they use this term readily accessible. It's got to be reached quickly for operation, repair, inspection without climbing, removing obstacles, or resorting uh, to accessible equipment or to access equipment. Okay, now with that information, let's take a look at the code section where the change has occurred. And this is code section 130.1A. So 130.1 is our mandatory indoor lighting control section. It's going to list all the lighting controls um, needed to comply with the energy code for alterations and additions or tenant improvements and our new construction. 130.1A are manual area controls. This is a light switch that is inside a room. It's able to turn the lights on and off. They must be readily accessible and be located in the same enclosed area with the lighting it controls. So we know what readily accessible means, right? It means capable of being reached quickly for operation, repair, inspection uh, without requiring climbing or removing obstacles or resorting to access equipment. So the code change is right here. And it is public restrooms having two or more stalls, parking areas, stairwells and corridors may use a manual control not accessible to unauthorized personnel. All right, so that's our first code change. The second one that we're going to address today is exception two, and this is to section 130.1A2. Section 130.1A2. In healthcare facilities for restrooms and bathing rooms intended for single occupant, the lighting control may be located outside the enclosed area, but directly adjacent to the door. So in exception to, in these healthcare facilities for restrooms and bathing, these areas listed, the light switch could be located outside the room. To recap on our first change in public restrooms, having two or more stalls in parking areas, in stairwells, and in corridors, these areas may use a manual control that's not accessible to unauthorized personnel. Take a stab at where do you think these locations are and uh, why don't you go ahead and comment below and we'll see uh, what people come up with. Thanks for watching.